Hi everybody, welcome back, Simsco Games. Man. Oh my god, we're so rich. We've made so much money. Uh, we're training everybody. We want Ron Johnson to become a specialist. And we want to open up this research and development lab and create our own console and do a bunch of other crap. I think we can hire one more person as well, uh, which is very good. We're going to have a full team. We can maybe work on a large game, which would be, wow, something else. I think we need to make a new engine as well. So let's hop to it. We'll make some sequels. We'll make some engines. We'll do all sorts of shit. It'll be great. Sipsco Games, the best. The best games company there ever was and ever will be. Perfect. How many research points do we have? 54. Can we actually research anything? Ron, do you want to research something? Uh, let's see. Uh, new topic. Virtual economy. Should we research virtual economy and add it into our new engine? Or should we get stereoscopic 3D uh, for 40 research? Let's get a virtual economy. I think that'll be fun. Virtual economy for 40 research points at 120,000 bucks. We have 157 million in the bank and Rip Squad 4 is still selling and making money. Look at that. We've sold 2.8 million copies of Rip Squad 4. Holy shit. Fine. Ron, hop to it. We have 14 research points left. Uh, Drew Darpishin is, uh, is, is the new guy. He's on board. Uh, we probably want to get to work on this engine like straight away, this new engine. Great, okay, we're ready to go. We're gonna develop a new engine. It's year 28. Uh, wow, year 28, month 12. So actually we have one year left. We may be able to get one or two games out before uh, year 30, which is kind of nuts actually. Okay, fine. Uh, we wanna develop or, or create a custom engine. The team is fully engaged. Look at this, Vivian, Eric, Jack, Kevin, Drew, they've all got their sunglasses on and their, their bags of Doritos and they're, and they're ready to start screaming, yeah, and, and work on this engine. It's gonna be fantastic. Fine, uh, we're gonna make this the Long Dong Silver 2.0. Uh, it's going to be a total overhaul. It's going to include 2D graphics v4, 3D graphics v3, not v2. Look at that. We've got the potential of making 2D graphic games and 3D graphic games. It's going to be pretty sweet, actually. Uh, stereo sound and soundtrack. Do we want mono sound as well? Stereo sound. Let's have stereo sound and soundtrack, uh, which would be pretty good. And maybe, do we want to add mono sound as well, just in case? Well, it's letting us, so we might as well just add it. Look, we'll get bonuses if we add all this stuff into a game. We can have mono sounds at some points, stereo sound at most points, and a soundtrack as well, which we can sell later on iTunes. Or would it be like Gertunes? Would it be Gertunes in this game? Possibly? Fine. Uh, stories and quests, we want linear story, branching story, simple cutscenes, and advanced cutscenes, just in case uh, we want to have cutscenes, but we don't want to go for the advanced. Fine. It's already going to cost us a million to develop Long Dong Silver 2.0, but that's okay. Uh, video playback, online play, with uh, along with everything else that we've had for the engine for the longest time, save game, multiplayer, basic physics, and all that shit. Great. Uh, of course, the steering wheel, which has come in very handy. I mean, it made Lenny's Quest 2 a roaring success. And uh, also, uh, it was very good for um, Call of uh, Duty as well. I think it was the sequel to Call of Duty that had the steering wheel that you could um, use the phone with the steering wheel. I, I think that was very innovative and actually probably made us a ton of money. Great. Dialogues, we don't have much of. Better dialogues, uh, dialogue tree, fine. Level editor, Easter eggs, mini games, better AI. AI companions, wow, and of course virtual economy, which we just um, researched, which we can add to it. Holy shit, 1.3 million for the Long Dong Silver 2.0. This is gonna be nuts. Fine, team, uh, engage. We're ready. My God, <laughs> look at this. We're just absolutely chugging through this. Let's hire someone as well. We have 159 million in the bank. Who cares? We need a new design guy, I think. Let's go for showreel. Maybe that'll get us like a really good design guy. I think we got tech covered. So we're going to get another design person. Hopefully it's going to be a girl. And hopefully it's going to be uh, like the complete opposite of Vivian. So that the two of them can just like mud wrestle and cat fight in the office. Uh, that's probably... Um, just a terrible thing to say, actually. Uh, but there you go. It's it's just the reality of Sipsco Games. I'm not saying Sipsco Games is not a uh, a PC company. It's it's absolutely uh, on the cutting edge of everything, including uh, being derogatory to um to women. Unfortunately, <laughs> Rip Squad 4 is now off the market. It sold 3.3 million units and generated 36.4 million in sales. Holy shit! Holy shit! 
Um, maybe we maybe we won't hire a woman actually, uh, so that Vivian can uh, can can be like the uh, I don't know, like like the mother of the whole company. She can be the only woman, and she can like take on a, a mothering role to everybody else. Maybe we need to find uh, like some some other dude. That'd be good. Brenda Rathbait. Holy shit! Look at this. Brenda Rathbait has got the credentials. Look at that design. Five hundred and sixty-seven. Brenda, we might actually hire you. Uh, Gabriel Montgomery. Uh, with 284 design, I don't think we'll be hiring Gabriel somehow. I'm sorry, Gabe. I'm really sorry about that. Henry Patton as well. No, we're looking for a design person. Whoa. Holy shit. Look at, look at Leonardo Reed's design is so good that it actually surpasses his technology, which is so crap. Look at that. 10 technology. That's very good design though. 589. He only wants 24k per month as well. And hold my sh holy shit. Look at Ron Raglow. My god. 685 design. This guy. Oh my god. He's already a, uh, a full adolescent as well. And uh, he's got a little bit of technology. Fantastic design. Holy shit. Speed and research is very good. 43k per month. Ron, you're hired. Here he comes. Full house. Look at that. We got an achievement for filling up the, the entire house. Fine. Do you need some uh, staff welcome training? Yes. Did we ever send Drew on his staff welcome training? I think we must have missed it. Maybe he's just going to be really shit now. Because look, there's no option to do it. I'm sorry about that, Drew. Fine. Let's let Ron uh, get settled in while we um, continue plugging away at our cool engine here. Uh, which is almost done, actually. The Long Dong Silver 2.0 is almost done. Uh, Vivian can now fulfill her role as the uh, the mother of the company. Because I don't think we can actually hire anybody else. Look at this. We're, we're fully stocked. People. Holy shit. My god, 1 million engine, invest over 1 million in a new game engine. It was about time actually, the Long Dong Silver 2.0 was a long time coming. We had a whole bunch of extras uh, that we could throw into it, and that's exactly what we did. And it's going to be a huge success. Look, we still have 156 million in the bank, god. I don't think we can ever run out of money now. Uh, fine, Eric, go on vacation. Jack, go on vacation. Uh, Kevin, you want to go like on a... No, she, he doesn't. Vivian, what about you? Are, are you guys all just getting used to the fact that Ron has joined? Uh, Drew, I think, definitely needs a vacation as well. Uh, Drew, Jack, and Eric are going to go on a vacation together. The three amigos. And that's what they're going to call themselves. And they're going to go on a vacation out into the desert and try, try to foil the uh, evil plots of El... <laughs> What was the guy's name from Three Amigos again? L something? I can't even remember. God, it's been so long. I need to I need to actually watch that movie again. Uh, it, it was such a good one. Oh, just in time. Look at this. It's year 29 and we got our game convention. We were just waiting for everybody to get back from vacation. We'll get a large booth for 1.5 million. And uh, we're going to put our new engine to the task straight away. We're going to start developing a game so that we can feature it at this game convention at G3. Uh, we'll also market it, and hopefully we're going to make even more money. God, that'd be fantastic. All right, everybody, let's do it. We're going to make a sequel. Uh, we're going to develop a sequel to... Uh, what do we want to develop a sequel to? Gary Olympics 26? No. Lenny's Quest 2? Oh, you know what we need to make a sequel for? That's right. Glory Holen. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my god. Glory Holen, the business simulation game that was on the PC uh, originally. It got 7.75 as its review score, a uh, top sales rank of 16. This was our first foray into the uh, extreme adult uh, side of the games industry with, uh, with our business simulator uh, about glory holes. We made 2.5 million off this and actually I think we saved the company. So it's time to make a sequel to Glory Holen. Uh, what it will be called, I have no idea. It's definitely going to be for mature audiences. Wow! Let's make it a large game. I think this is, I think it's time to make it a, a large game. Fine. Uh, Multi-genre, it'll be a simulation uh, strategy game, I guess, uh, for, uh, for business platform uh instead of the pc let's do this one for the gur pad so that people can play this uh in bed <laughs> i think i think that's a good idea i mean people like to take their gur pads to bed with them and watch movies and stuff don't they well they can play the sequel to glory hole in in bed as well uh jesus christ game engine <laughs> long dong silver 2.0 fine what the hell do we want to call this game glory hole in 2 uh let's call it Hellholen. <laughs> We're gonna call it Hellholen. 
This is the sequel to Glory Holen c called Hell Holen, where the uh, where the devil has taken over your uh, glory hole business and opened up mini portals to hell uh, with the glory holes. There's going to be many miniature uh, portals into into hell uh, in the form of glory holes, uh, and uh, and and that's that's it basically. I don't I don't even know what else to say. Uh, after that, <laughs> that 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 is that is the game. The sequel to Glory Holen, a large game for mature audiences. Uh, business simulation strategy on the GUR pad using our new engine, the Longdong Silver 2.0. Will this work? Uh, I fucking hope so. Holy shit. Uh, 2D graphics v4. Do we want 3D graphics for this? 3D graphics v3. I think 3D graphics v3 uh, would be fantastic for Hell Holen. Uh, the sequel to Glory Holen. Fine. 3D graphics v3. It will be. Great. Let's uh, let's also market this straight away. I don't know if this is the right time to actually create a large marketing campaign for uh, arguably the worst concept for a GURPAD game of all time. But we're going to do it anyway. We're going to go for a large campaign because we've got money to burn. It's going to be great. Holy shit. Look at this. Fine. Uh, what do we want for a... Uh, simulation strategy game. Simulation strategy, I think we're going to probably want to go nuts with the engine and the gameplay and uh, not so much with the stories and the quests. Although, I mean, we could have advanced cutscenes uh, given the uh, given the content and nature of this game. Do we want to have advanced cutscenes for 90k just to add a little pizzazz to the game? I think so. Why not? Stories and quests. Uh, Eric Robertson, fine. You can work on that. We can get Ron Johnson to work on the gameplay because he's going to be like the master of gameplay. Kevin Hudson can work on the engine because he's like the tech guy. Although, look, I mean, it's got to be said, Jack Long is not too far behind him. And we can pad things out as well with uh, with some of these other guys. Fine. If we're going to go nuts with the engine, let's try to get save to cloud, mod support, video playback, online play. Do we want online play instead of multiplayer? Look at this. We're going to have to... Can we add more people to this because it's a large game? Can we get Jack Long involved on the engine as well? No, we can't. Okay, fine. Kevin Hudson will do the engine, which means that we're going to have to take out... Let's have online play, but let's take out... Do Oh, I think we want basic physics, actually. Let's take out save to cloud, uh, and let's take out mod support, and maybe... Can we, can we do this? Can we... We don't want to sacrifice gameplay. If anything, let's sacrifice stories and quests because we don't really need them. So fine. We'll take out advanced cutscenes, uh, but we can add a linear story. We'll have a linear story, fine. And we just need to take like one more thing out of this uh, of, of this to make the engine work. Because we're look, we're only at 86%, and actually we probably want to have. Well, what do we have in gameplay? Character progression, I think we need. Achievements, I think we definitely need. Uh, God, the steering wheel for Hellholen would be great too. And, uh, well, the mouse too. How, what can we get away with here? Reducing this. Oh shit, look at this. We can still do it. Oh man, we can still do it. Look, we can get 100% in engine. Can we save the cloud? No, we can't. I think it's a. F it, I think it's one... One feature too far for the development stage one of Hellhole. And fine, look at Kevin Hudson is 92% committed to this because of all the features. I think this is going to make a ton of money though. Holy shit, look, it's going to cost us 585k just to get through development stage one. Totally worth it though. Look at, look at this. Online play and video playback and basic physics. Holy shit, this is going to be one heck of a game. Fine, development stage one complete then. There we go. Look, the hype is building up Hell Holen, the business strategy simulation game about the devil taking over your glory hole in business and making miniature portals into hell with those glory holes is underway. And G3 is going to be very excited to hear about this as well, I'm sure. No? Maybe? <laughs> Just me? My god, I hope my mom and dad do not watch this. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, holy shit, look at how many people are turning up to our booth. We had over a million people. Wow. For Hellholen on the Gurpad. Wow, this is... Wow, what a turnout. Holy shit. Uh, we're definitely going to be in the top 100, and we placed at 57. Wow, okay, great. Everybody is very happy about that. Uh, Vivian? Do you need to go on vacation for a bit? Because, look, you're, you're sort of like getting tired. Go on a quick day break. Uh, and we'll use you in Dev Stage 3 instead. Okay, fine. Vivian, you cannot work on uh, Dialogues Level 6 because you're now on vacation. So we're going to have to get somebody else to do it. Maybe Drew. Drew can fill in for you. Fine. 
Uh, level design. Do we want to get Eric to do level design instead of Jack? Yeah, fine. Let's do it. Or no, let's get Ron, the new guy. Ron Glasgow, or Raglow, sorry, is going to be 75% committed. Look at his design score. 685. Holy shit. Kevin Hudson uh, can take a back seat for Dev Stage 2, and we'll get uh, Jack Long in to do the AI. I believe that we want to have level design and AI uh, featured prominently in Dev Stage 2 for this business simulation uh, slash strategy game. Fine. Great. Okay. Uh, what can we get away with? Uh, we can't add dialogue tree. It's too much. Better dialogue though we can keep in and uh, we can get Drew to uh, to work on some, some very crude dialogues. That'll be great. Level design. We can leave everything in. We got mini games, Easter eggs and level editor uh, and Ron is going to be uh, totally um, all over that. Great. And AI. Do we want AI companions for 90k? Fine. We might as well. Look at that. Jack can do it. He can do better AI and AI companions. Two uh, excellent new uh, additions to the engine. Now, if we add dialogue tree for 90k in here, can we get away with increasing this without... Oh, look. We can do it. We did it without sacrificing anything uh, in the... Uh, in, in in the rest of the engine. I wonder if this will do it. God, that's fantastic. Look at that. Every feature of the engine in there, and nobody is, like, overly committed. Okay, great. Fine. Dev Stage 2 for Hellholen. Complete. Perfecto. Great. Vivian is, like, just coming back from her holiday. Kevin Hudson is in desperate need of, uh, of uh, some sort of, like, weekend break. Fine, Kevin, you can go. It's fine. We're just about to enter into Dev Stage 3. Everybody, uh, at the same time, for some reason, has decided to take a break, but they're back. Look, we're back. We're hitting the milestones here, too. Look at this. Technology and design is going to just go through the absolute roof. Hype is 361. I think that's the highest hype we've ever had. Fine. Um... So, we want graphics and sound and not so much. I don't think we need really much world design at all. Although, uh, if we want to add in, say, not a rich backstory or, or open world, but virtual economy, I mean, it is a business simulation strategy game. Virtual economy might be uh, something very good to have and uh, rich backstory as well. Let's add rich backstory. Uh, can we get away with, okay, sliding that down ever so slightly. Fine. Uh, who's going to work on this? Uh, Vivian. God, Vivian's tech is, like, very good, actually. I never realized. She's got 503 tech. That's excellent. Uh, fine. Eric Robertson. Uh, maybe we can get Ron Johnson to work on... Oh, no. He can't work on world design. Uh, he'll be too tired. Actually, Ron cannot work on anything because he'll be too tired. Uh, what about Ron R Ranglo? Raglo? Ranglo? I don't think he can work on that either, actually. Uh, Drew is fully committed to uh, working on sound. Ron Johnson probably can't work on graphics, so we'll get Eric Robertson in to work on the graphics. Great. Uh, Ron... Uh, can Ron Raglow work on that? Oh, no, he's going to be, like, totally... Oh, Jesus. Well, let's get Drew back on that. Fine. And Ron Ranglo, we're, we're going to have to just bring this down ever so slightly. Uh... What do we want? World design. Uh, we need a tech person. We need Vivian to work on sound, I think. We're going to have Vivian work on the sound, uh, which should be fine. Uh, and then let's see what else we can add. Can we add soundtrack? Yes, we can add soundtrack. Do we want basic sounds? No, we want stereo sound. Stereo sound, fine. You can't actually add mono, basic, and stereo all together. It's just got to be stereo sound and soundtrack. That's going to be pretty good, though. I think that's a nice thing to add. Uh, 3D Graphics V3, which Eric Robertson will be working on. And it looks like we're going to get this management score. Great. Uh, except world design is now uh, too low, which means that we might have to bring down graphics. Oh, shit. This isn't really going to work, I don't think. We're going to have to take out the rich backstory in this case, and then we could bring this down even more uh, if we need to. We don't really need to, actually, but I think uh, if we spend more time on sounds, possibly, as much time as we can on sounds, that should be great. Okay, fine. Dev Stage 3, after much toing and froing, Hell Holen, the business simulation strategy game, the follow-up to Glory Holen, uh, the, the, the title that brought us out of the the crapper uh Cisco games out of the crapper fine we're good dev stage three underway look at the hype we're gonna be over 400 hype and uh actually we're gonna hit a, a ton of milestones for the company with design and technology holy shit the hype is gonna go over 500 it looks like god this might be a big one this could be the biggest jesus fine we've got a whole bunch of bugs to iron out 
design. Look at the design. 446. This is our first large game, by the way. Um, I, I don't know how this is going to play out, actually. We have 224,000 fans, which is very good. We're just coming up to the end of year 29. It's taken us uh, pretty much all year to develop Hellholen, uh, which is uh, partly a shame and probably partly uh, pretty good as well, actually. It means that we put a lot of effort into it, and we should hopefully see a ton of money come back as a result. Fine. It seems that the market is normalized again with no particular strong trends at the moment. I didn't realize that there was any trends. I must have missed it. I was probably too busy. Look at Ron. Holy shit. Look at him go. It's like, it's like, it's like the, the tag team from hell. Ron and Ron. Raglow and Johnson. Uh, the, uh, the, it's like the, um, the, the Crusher Brothers or whatever. The Legion of Doom. Remember those guys? No? I think it was probably a long time ago. Oh, look at this. Ron, Ron is adding bugs to the game. Fine, we're ready. 519 hype for Hellholen. Big records. Look at the records. Holy shit. Uh, we've got a modifier of 1.7 because of a new combo, a great combo, and good management. Wow. New records in design and tech. Uh, we're leveling up all over the place. Engine, dialogues, graphics, 3D graphics, V3, sound as well. Everybody's getting a lot of experience. Whoa, look at all the experience. Holy shit. Jesus. Wow. Look at all these young adults. And then there's a, there's a preteen and, and a teen here. Look, Drew is still the babby of the company. Holy shit, he's just such a little babby. Fine, let's release this mother and see what happens. Advanced body language. We have 334 research points, which means we're going to go on a researching spree. Uh, orchestral soundtrack, do we want that? Or do we want to get some more stuff for dialogues? Maybe we want to get... Uh, no, let's get some gameplay stuff. Look at this, cooperative play. Fine. Uh, let's research cooperative play for 100 research points and 400,000 bucks. No problem. Kevin... Uh, you can research... Oh, surround sound. That might be a good one. Skill trees. Dynamic environment. All right. We're going to go for it. We're going to get dynamic environment as well. Jack Long. Our next engine. Holy shit. is going to be fantastic. It's nuts. Uh, no loading screens. I think no loading screens is going to be a good one. 100 RP and 400,000 um, bucks. Which leaves us with 54 research points. The first reviews for our newly released game, Hellholen, came in. Great. What's it going to be? Hellholen. Wow, can't wait for the sequel, Star Games. Oh, I see tens, big tens. Truly great, informed gamer. Holy shit, I see more tens. Uh, simulation strategy games work well on the GER pad. Wow, great, game hero, holy shit. And great, all games. Wow, what a sequel. What a sequel, holy shit. We totally blew uh, Glory Hole and out of the water with this sequel. Wow, great, okay, fine. Let's see, let's see the sales coming. Oh my god, look at the sales. First week sales. Over 500,000. Great. Well done. Go Sipsco Games. Fantastic. Uh, 7 million in sales in the first week and uh, an additional 6.3k uh, fans. Perfecto. Oh, that's so good. Uh, rank 9th. <laughs> my god, Jesus. This, these are selling like hotcakes. Okay, uh, what about training? Oh, look at this. Ron can specialize in gameplay. Almost. Uh, what's he missing? We're, oh, we're missing 200 research points. We have the 5 million. Okay, fine. Uh, he can be our gameplay guy. We, we can do this. Uh, we just need 200 research points. How are we going to get 200 research points? We'll wait for these guys to finish their researching. Oh, shit. Look at this. Over a million in sales. Oh, fuck. Hell holding. Holy shit. We're selling a lot of copies of Hell holding. Look, we're almost back. Well, actually, how much money did we start with? 157 million? We, we just made like 10 million in the space of like no time at all. That's fantastic. Uh, initial sales for Hellholen have fallen way below expected numbers. Oh no, the game received outstanding reviews, but it seems that the chosen platform isn't very popular with the target audience. Oh shit. Oh, Gurpad for mature audiences. Not, not the best. No, that's a shame. Uh, that's okay though. We're still we're still selling a lot and making a lot, so that's fine. There are a lot of good surprises waiting for you in Hellholen. Yeah, I guess uh, George Longer um, is is adamant that there are a lot of good surprises waiting for you in Hellholen. Uh, he he knows. He's a man who knows. Great, uh, Jack. We don't need to wait for. It. Let's find some contract work very quickly so that we can get a ton of research points. Hopefully, let's go for a big one if we can. If there are any big ones, I'll look at this. Cutscenes over five weeks. 
uh, or uh, game backdrops. Let's go for this one. Cutscenes, we can totally get this one, I think. Five weeks. Try to get some more research points. There's a couple of research points coming in. We need to get 200 research points, if possible, so that Ron can become the specialist and we can open this research and development lab. Great. Uh, we just made 239,000 bucks as well. Let's uh, let's do another one of these. Uh, they're good. They're, it's a good way of getting uh, lots of research points. Fine contract work, no problem. Uh, we want some good ones. We don't want to set up computers. Game backdrops. Oh my god, look at these. They're all crappy ones. Six weeks for this one for 102k for some accounting software. Uh, fine. We're just going to blast through these and see how many research points we can get out of them. Uh, I mean, they, they are sort of piling up. I don't think we're going to be able to get 200. Uh, thanks for taking care of this for us. Fine, no problem. I think Ron might actually... Uh, Ron Raglow needs to go on vacation. He's going to have a weekend break. Fine. All right, well. Sales for Hellhole and are rolling in. Uh... Which is good. We're we're all we're up to 185.7 uh, million in the bank. It is now year 30. I, we're about to finish the game, I think. Uh, let's wrap up there. We'll finish the uh, the game uh, next episode. Uh, we'll try to get Ron and the research development uh, thing open next episode, and we'll work on a new game as well. Look at that. Hellhole and off the market sold 2.9 million units and generated wow 40.9 million in sales. That's not bad. Holy shit. 40.9 million. I would take that any day. Fantastic. Okay, great. Fine. Uh, oh, look at this. Dear Ron Johnson, we, the Worldwide Game Developers Guild, would like to invite you to a special awards ceremony at our main meeting at the end of the year. Please come. Hint. The game will end at the end of this year. Fine. We've got till the end of this year to make another game and see if we can get some more points. Perfect. Okay, as usual, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time.